Hi everyone, I'm Aris Tid from Metabolism of Cities, and in this video I would like to talk to you about Sankey diagrams. Sankey diagrams is one of the essential visualizations that we have in material flow analysis and circular economy. And we use this visualization to visualize material, energy, and waste flows that enter and exit in our economies. In a way, uh, Sankey diagrams is kind of a synthetic illustration of a more data intensive exercise. So perhaps you've never heard uh, uh, about them, or perhaps you've seen them and you don't recognize them. So let me just show you very quickly what a Sankey diagram is and what it looks like. So this is an example of a Sankey diagram. Over here, you see the material flows that enter and exit the European economy, so of uh, the EU27. What is the Sankey diagram? What does it show us? Uh, and what can we learn from it? So let's go through through this one and I'll explain it briefly. Basically, a Sankey diagram is also called a flow diagram. And over here you see, as I said before, these are material flows that enter and exit your economy. You could think of that into, you know, it could be energy flows, it could be financial flows, it could be anything you want. Uh, but the idea is that you have two main components in uh, a Sankey diagram. So you have flows, which are these elements over here that you can see. You can have them in different colors or you can have them uh, in different sizes. We'll, we'll come uh, um, back to that in a second. And then you have nodes. So nodes is um, the places where your flow uh, comes from and ends too. So you have a source node and a target node or an end node, let's say, and in between them you have a flow that connects them. So let's see what, what are these nodes and what are these flows. So for instance, let's see here up above we have imports. What are, how many gigatons uh, of material flows are imported into the, um, the European economy? So we have 1.7 uh, billion tons that enter uh, the European economy and we see that well here it's not really straightforward but actually we're, what this node represents is the rest of the world outside Europe and then it enters within Europe let's say here. Down here below we have natural resources extracted so where where is this? This is within um, the European territory EU27. Uh, we extract from it um, 5.3 billion tons. Um, and over there you see that it starts from the natural environment within Europe and then it also goes to the direct material inputs. Now from this, the direct material inputs, then they go to processed materials uh, and you see that some more are added here. Uh, recycling flows and backfilling flows are also entering the economy and are processed um, in order to, to, you know, be transformed into new uh, products um, and materials. So you see here uh, a couple of things. For instance, the, the height or the uh, how wide these flows are represent how big this flow is in terms of mass, in terms of, you know, euros if it's monetary terms. So in a quick um, glance you can see directly what are the most important flows in this diagram. So for instance we see that we extract much more materials uh, than we import in uh, the European um, uh, economy. Now of course if you would like to dig further it's not exactly the same types of materials that you extract locally and that you import, right? So within the imports, probably it's more fossil fuels and metals. And in the natural extraction, we have biomass and construction materials. In any case, what, what also is nice over here is that you see uh, some circular flows going back to your city. So in that sense, with one, um, with one quick glance, we know what are the flows, where they come from, where they end up, what are their proportions, and what are some important flows and uh, things to be careful for. So for instance, we, we see that when we talk about a circular economy in Europe, we see that uh, only a tiny fraction of our processed materials, so we have 8 billion tons of processed materials in 2019, only 1 billion ton is 
uh, is uh, recircularized within the economy. So we can see this example in, in another place. Uh, so this is for the word. Uh, this time is more or less the same. The, the only difference is that we have differentiated some of the flows into colors. Um, so this is uh, something similar. Uh, it's uh, the material flows that flow the global economy this time, not the, the, the European one. Over here you see um, in the down below what are the colors so fossil fuels biomass metals um, construction minerals and all of that so you see that we can also have different colors and different uh, numerous flows going from one node to another so you can have from extraction you you have different types of materials that are extracted you don't have let's say uh, just materials you can define them you can say okay that much amount of biomass that much amount of construction materials etc etc uh, and then one important element over here that they have added is also stocks so where flows stay for a while more than one year before they exit again so this is another example of a Sankey diagram. If if you are interested to to learn more about Sankey, Sankey diagrams, what um, what other examples exist? Uh, we have within Metabolism of Cities we have a multimedia library, and if you click here on data visualization on the right, you see that there are 178 data visualizations that are found, and if you click on that, it brings you to the data visualization page. And over here, you will see other people that have done Sankey diagrams. So these can be inspirations for you if you would like to uh, experiment in the future. There's also another website very interesting called Sankey diagrams, uh, sankey-diagrams.com, where they just have Sankey diagrams. Uh, so you see numerous um, examples of Sankey diagrams, but also what are the different tools that enable you to develop a Sankey diagram yourself. And in the next video, we will show you step by step how to create your own Sankey diagram, such as this one. Um, we will show you where to get some data, uh, how to process your data, what software to use, how to visualize it, and then how to export it into a nice diagram. That's it for this video. If you like this video, please don't hesitate to subscribe and also leave us a comment and say what you would like to see in the next videos. Um, that way you're sure that you don't miss any, any new videos, but also that help us uh, to reach more people. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.